Daisy Edgar Jones is arguably best known for her breakout performance as Marion in Normal People, the Sally Rooney adaption that entertained thousands of bored people during early lockdown, and made her and Paul Meskel stars. Following the series' phenomenal success in both the UK and the US, which earned her BAFTA and Golden Globe nominations, the star is now one of the most sought-after British actors. Here are 10 things about Daisy Edgar Jones that you probably didn't know. Showbiz runs in her family. Daisy Edgar Jones was born on May 21, 1998, in Islington, but she grew up in Muswell Hill, London. The only child of Wendy and Philip, it seems she was always destined for a career in the media. Her mother was a film producer, while her father is the director of Sky Arts and head of entertainment at Sky. She got bitten by the acting bug at age 7. She first fell in love with acting at age 7, when her teacher cast her to play Anne Boleyn in a production about Henry VIII, done in the style of Jerry Springer. She told Rolling Stone, That was when I first had that experience of enjoying and really inhibiting a character. With the full support of her parents, she entered the National Youth Theatre and after being signed by an agency, she landed her first TV role as Olivia Marston in ITV's Cold Feet. Roles in Brit indie flick Pond Life, BBC's Gentleman Jack, and Miniseries War of the Worlds followed, before she was invited to try out for the part of Marion Sheridan in Normal People, which would take her career to a whole new level. She contacted Phoebe Dynever. Following her performance of Marion in the film adaptation of Sally Rooney's novel, Edgar Jones was thrust into the spotlight. Normal People is a 2018 novel that explores the lives of two complicated teenagers, Connell and Marion. Sex, love, heartbreak, and death are all present. Being completely nude on TV and portraying sexual behaviors isn't as simple as it appears. It can sometimes have a negative impact on your mental health, and it's important to phone a friend. Someone who could relate to her at the time was breakout Bridget and star Phoebe Dynever. She told Inside Nova, I remember watching Bridget in and thinking that her whole performance was so stunning, and I started to see that she was getting very similar questions to what I was about the intimate scenes, and the show had a lot in common with normal people, and that it was a love story. And both of us were relative newcomers. We had a Zoom call, and it was nice to digest how we were feeling. I think it's really important as young actors to look out for each other. Before the audition, she hadn't read Normal People. Edgar Jones had not read Normal People before auditioning for the show. In an interview with The New Yorker, she said, My friend had bought it for my flatmate and was, like, it's my favorite book ever. She's actually writing her dissertation on Sally Rooney now. I read it in a day. I loved it so much. I've always loved romances. She was drawn to Rooney's evocation of her character's inner lives. They are both incredibly complex and flawed. Sally doesn't shy away from the darker sides. Often, you get quite a light-hearted version of young love and growing up. She spoiled the ending of Hulu's Normal People. Although readers of Sally Rooney's Normal People had an idea of how the Hulu series would end, the ending may have been spoiled for those who hadn't read the novel. Unfortunately, the spoilers came from Daisy Edgar Jones, one of the show's breakout stars. During a May 2020 appearance on The One Show, she seemed to make a major slip. When host Alex Jones asked where she'd like to see Marion and her love interest, Connell Waldron, she said, I hope they remain at that level of settled they get to by the end of the series, and I think it is wonderful that Marion encouraged Connell to follow his dreams as a writer in New York. Unfortunately, the final episode had not yet aired, so Edgar Jones' comments caught many viewers by surprise. In reaction, one fan wrote, Oh dear, Daisy Edgar Jones just unwittingly spoiled the ending of Normal People on the one show. However, to her credit, Edgar Jones never disclosed if Marion and Connell would try to make a long-distance relationship last. Her famous fringe is a lucky charm. After being rejected for an acting job in the spring of 2019, Edgar Jones decided to freshen up her image by having a fringe cut in. Shortly after getting her new due, she auditioned for Normal People and is convinced her now famous bangs helped her land the role of mysterious Marion. Much like Connell's chain necklace, Marion's choppy fringe became as iconic as the character herself and was mentioned in nearly every print and online publication. Although she was initially surprised her hairstyle caused such a stir, she now gets it. She told The Times, Hair says so much about how we want to express ourselves. My fringe has good vibes. She's a former head girl. Although she played an outsider in Normal People, Edgar Jones was a popular student and head girl at the Mount School for Girls in real life. 
In an interview with The Times, she revealed, I've always been quite a good girl, I was head girl, and I found a diary entry recently where I was stressing out, aged 15. I was like, oh my god, I am so stressed because I feel such responsibility to be a role model as head girl, but I want to join in with my friends and laugh. Despite being on the verge of becoming a Hollywood a-lister, down-to-earth Edgar Jones still refers to herself as the geeky, odd person in her friendship group and insists she's always the butt of her pal's jokes. Sebastian Stan joined Fresh because of her. Edgar Jones was well-known enough to draw her Fresh co-star Sebastian Stan to the hilarious horror rom-com Fresh. He plays Steve, the new boyfriend to her jaded, fed up with dating apps Noah, in a budding relationship that goes off the rails when it's revealed that he is actually an enterprising cannibal who sells bits and pieces of his paramours to men with very particular tastes. Stan said, she was the reason I ended up doing this. When I saw Daisy had signed on, I immediately emailed the deadline article to my agents. I said, she's incredible. I want to get in on this. I saw normal people and just loved it. She was so complex and layered and real and vulnerable and sort of bold. It was the most raw, authentic performance that I had seen in a while. Her first crush was Tom Cruise. She has acted opposite quite a few handsome men, but remembers the first actor to ever make her giddy was Tom Cruise. She said, When I was seven, my parents told me we were watching Top Gun, and apparently I came over all funny and started laughing hysterically every time Tom Cruise came on screen. It wasn't just Maverick that made her go weak at the knees. She also used to have a thing for actor Logan Lerman, who played Percy Jackson in the film adaptation of the popular book series. She has a very distinctive accent. Edgar Jones has a very distinctive accent, partly because of her parents, and partly because of her job. She grew up in London, England, but because her father is Scottish and her mother is Northern Irish, she was surrounded by their accents too. She told NME, I grew up in a house full of accents, my mom's from Northern Ireland, my dad's Scottish, and I grew up in London. My grand had lived with us for a while and had a very strong Irish accent. So I've been practicing my whole life, not on purpose of course. She also told The Guardian, I've played a lot of characters with accents, and I feel like I've sort of kept bits of them in my subconscious. Whenever I get shy, whenever I find it hard to speak as myself, little pieces of these accents sort of creep out.